Oh my god. As Jake and I are building our home and family off the grid in the Canadian temperate rainforest, we are also exploring the Pacific Ocean which surrounds us. We are secretly learning to sail above the waves while at the same time free diving beneath them. The ocean temperatures are cold here year-round, and hypothermia is always a risk. Our last free diving session worked on depth and spearfishing.
little Easter egg for those of you who watch week by week and don't miss an episode just for the loyal fans out there. You guys see I'm cutting some of this alder for for firewood in addition to cooking wood because it kind of has this bacony maple flavor when you cook with it. So firewood and cooking wood. But also the other types of wood that we have here like the hemlock, the dug fir, the spruce that were um, having to fall for safety, for wind, but also for light. We're gonna reuse the posts for upcoming projects. And if you guys like the yurt, wait till you see the, the super yurt that Nicole and I are gonna build over and around this yurt. So this yurt will eventually be brought down and we're gonna build a, uh... you ever watch the Avengers? You ever see the Hulk Smasher Iron Man suit? We're gonna build that suit. And then even though the Hulk is inside, we're gonna have a, a bigger, better shell around the outside. So you'll see what we'll do coming up. Maybe, maybe next month, August. <laughs> Hey babe, so this pathway going forward into the garden from the yurt, do you think it's okay if I shoot it this way toward the carrots and the beets? Should I just do the left side for now? Yeah. All right. Hey babe, this is the easiest hole I ever dug. Babe, it's crazy, like, the clear water is just pouring into this hole. Okay, you good? Yeah, I got it, go ahead. Okay, here comes the step. And down we go. Ready and go. Come on. Got it? Thank <laughs> you. 
We got the whole family on today's walk. We got Tapuma, Kai, and Ginseng, and Reishi. All right, let's do this. <laughs> You made it. I made it. It looks so good up here. So I finished harvesting at the perfect time because it just started raining. I have it all kind of laid out right here. I'll just go through really quickly and tell you what I harvested. I got a little bit of some things and a whole lot of some other things. So um, I'll go ahead and uh, show you what I, what I picked. So here we have a bunch of lemon thyme. I could have picked some more, but we'll just start off with this, dry it out and jar it. I got some more rosemary. Um, some lavender. Um, I got a couple, I harvested a couple of different varieties of lavender. Um, chocolate mint, regular mint, and we got some jasmine. We just planted two jasmine bushes, um, so I'm surprised that they actually gave us some flowers, which is really exciting. Um, I'm sure next year we'll get so much more. Here we have a bunch of lemon balm. I still have way more lemon balm to harvest, um, but I'll just start off with this so I'm not overwhelmed. Um, I thinned out our arugula, so we have some microgreen um, arugula, and then we have some radish flowers. I don't know if you've ever tasted a radish flower before, but it, it's delicious. Um, so I got those. I'm going to dry out some ginkgo, um, some more lavender, some chamomile, which is, smells so good. This is a German chamomile, and a different variety of lavender. And then we just got some daisies here that I'm going to put in a vase because they look pretty. Up here we have some more lavender, which I can add down here. Bee balm, which looks really good. So I'll dehydrate this for tea. And then I have just one uh, St. John's wort flower so far, but there's a ton that are about ready to just pop. Um, so, so pretty. And then, down here, we harvested some onions that were starting to kind of fall over. I just have to clean them up. So we got a basket of that. And we harvested all of our garlic. So I'll clean that up, bundle it, and then start to dry it out. So we have quite a bit of garlic. So there you go. That's today's harvest so far.
To the top beam. Let's go. Okay, press that against the wall hard. Forty five inches apart. What a ham puma. What I just found in one of our blueberry plants. <gasps> a blueberry. Oh, the first half, half, half? Yeah, look, a blueberry. That's the first one. Our first blueberry. You found another one? Two. Jackpot. We've been picking the wild ones. Yeah. But these ones are our own. Yeah. 
That one doesn't look ready yet. Oh. They look pretty good. I mean, like, they could be longer, but then, like, what if the bird gets it? Okay, ready? Yep. Cheers, our first blueberries. Mmm. That was really good. Really good. Yummy. You can just go out to the first two stakes right there. Will it reach those two poles? What do you think? Every time I dig even a foot. Oh, God. <laughs> that was stupid. go down together slow. <sighs> 20 years from now of walking on this, do you want to walk on it like this thick or wider? What? Now, do you want it to be one more or is that an appropriate way? That's fine. Obviously, if everyone would be cool too. <sighs> Looks tight. 
It sags. All right, so I got to do, I tried to cut these, I tried to cut them super thick, thinking I can do big, big long planks and be sexy and look cool, but I got to put in between studs. I mean, maybe when I screw them in, it'd be a little bit better. I should screw them in and see how it feels. Okay. All right, I'll show you guys how I shower now. Come on, Kai. Come on, Kai. Come on, Kai. Good job, Kai. Okay, it's screwed in. Now test it. Yeah, I'm not gonna like fall through and die. If you walk on the middle one. Okay. The middle one. <laughs> this one? That was nice. Wow. It didn't even what move. That's what our property looks like from out here. It's nice. <laughs> Good job, babe. Should I walk aggressively? I'm so angry. No. Ready, boy? Blow it up. Boom of the balance, King. Oh, close. Oh, Kai. And he's a puppy. That's your move, bro. Okay, we're ready. Hey, looking good. Thank you. Shishia.
Is it helping with mosquitoes? I don't think so. It's not enough smoke. Let's go give us some feedback. Okay. We put new stuff in the middle than we normally do. A lot of uh, garlic chives and bok choy. From the garden. Wow. Can I mill it this high? Everybody in the YouTube comments has got their opinion of how I should be cutting trees up. Like, you should get this and you should get that. And I'm just like, this uh, mobile chainsaw mill is just enabling me to take the milling to each log. And I can mill these really amazing hemlocks and spruces that were over planted by humans 40 years ago, anyways, after they logged this property and the late 80s and I can now mill incredible boards without having to lift the logs too much. <sighs> Okay. okay, it's getting further. Wow, oh my gosh, it's so solid. That's what I wanted you to say, so. <laughs> this is great. Your bare feet almost to the garden. Almost, we're getting closer. And look, we're almost finished turning the carport into a barn. Yeah, or a garage. No, but ser <laughs> is that your friend? Seriously, what do you think? I think it looks awesome. I think it looks really cool. Cool. Two thumbs up. I've always been inspired by the Sujo Gardens, how they have the pathways and zigzags to confuse the ghosts. So now we have one. Seriously, turning out so good. I can't wait to put the banister on it and look real quick. Cool.
You missed this spot. I did. I missed more boards. Here, come walk on it at the same time. The concrete isn't even dry yet. I feel like Indiana Jones, Last Crusade, when he takes the leap of faith. <laughs> you did it. No, it's good. Do you like being that high or is that kind of freaky? It's kind of freaky, but once you have like three boards and the, the, the banister, the banister will be nice. Yeah. <laughs> that one you're standing on is not, it's not oh. dry yet. <laughs> So it's all clean under here, mm -hmm. but not this part. It's like rolled back without shifting. <laughs> wow, this board is so hard.
Okay, give it a test now. Like the catwalk. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Good lord. Bye. <laughs> Grab your screws and catwalk out of here. <laughs> no, it's great. We're almost done. We're almost there. Even though it's going to seed. Ooh.
meant to be, bro. Meant to be. Come here, Puma. Come on, God. Okay, what do you think? I think it smells good. That's good. Cheers. Sunday. <laughs> you know what we need? What? Well, this is just with my just with my flavoring. What do you think? This has the smoky taste. 
but, but it needs like soy sauce and sriracha. And it tastes perfect. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's habanero and jalapeno. Oops. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Welcome. Do you think your uh, puppy children love the new walkway? Yeah, I think they like it. They're sunbathing on it. Okay, so there is ginseng and reishi for all you cat freaks out there that always ask in the comments, where are the cats? They're still thick as thieves. And they're the guardians of the yurt and the protectors of the yurt from mice. This is where our rain gutters come down and drains into that funnel. It goes in that tank you see beneath there and we got water for the kitchen that way. And if we work together, past the stairs you guys saw in the coal night now and ships to keep on and now we have this nice pathway and we can walk barefoot out to the garden down the step forty tomato plants back there the garden's growing great looking really good this bed in front will be replanted with uh, bok choy and lettuces since we harvested all the garlic. I'm starting to put wood chips everywhere. <sighs> so one of my goals for a long time is to have wood chips all over. It's great for walking on and great for soil health. But let's see how the girl likes it. Okay, it's ready for you, my dear. Your dogs love it. <laughs> Puma's like splits in the middle. <laughs> Bro, Puma. <laughs> Don't fall off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta step over you. And the uh, the step down, is it the appropriate? Yeah, it's perfect. 
Hello, I'm so close to the garden. And bare feet too. And bare feet. What do you think? I love it. I can't wait for the carrots to be ready so then I can just sit here and harvest the carrots. Yeah. I'm in the garden. I love it, babe. I think it's great. And one thing we didn't really make a big deal out of, but to finish the carport and put that wood on the side was a big win. It was a huge win. So we just have the other side to do, but this is really, really nice. Yeah. And then when you're all done gardening, what do you do? I just walk back to the yurt. Past, past the dogs. See ya.